children and welcome to another Sunday school lesson. So today we are going to be talking about connectivity, keeping in touch and staying connected because last Monday the 9th of October we celebrated World Post Day, right? How many of you all know who a postman is? I'm sure most of you all have seen a postman, you all have interacted with a postman and you all know who a postman is, right? And what do these postmen do, right? They bring important documents or cards or even parcels and packages to your house, right? And so the post is very important because usually we get uh, or adults get very important documents like from banks or offices also through the post most of the time, right? Those days, the post was used even more than it was used nowadays, I would say, right? Uh, people used to send letters uh, from Sri Lanka to wherever they had friends or relations, right? England, Australia, America, Germany, India, wherever it was, right? And it took quite a long time because post used to go by ships those days, right? And then nowadays it goes by planes, right? So post has come a long, long way, right? And those days, there was no uh, phones like we have smartphones today, right? We couldn't see each other, right? Unless we physically met, right? How blessed are we to have this kind of connectivity now, right? And even if you wanted to talk before there were phones, it was only letters, right? And there were things called telegrams that were sent if you really needed to send a message very soon, right? But even that was quite slow compared to just a phone call. And later on, with the phone being invented, you know, people could speak to each other from far away, but they still couldn't see each other, right? It was only very recently, right? A few years uh, I would say ago, this whole, you know, face-to-face -face video chatting and calling, you know, things like Skype and all came to be. And indeed, what a great uh, blessing it is for us to be able to speak and keep in touch with our friends and relations who live so many hundreds of miles away from us, right? It is indeed a great thing, right? So we should be thankful to God for po the whole system of postage and the postal system and for everyone who works, right? Uh, because they still, to this day, do important tasks, like Andy said, of bearing important documents, right, to uh, one place from another place. Now, today's story or today's lesson is about staying in touch, right? And of course, you know, most of the books in the New Testament were actually letters written by most of them were letters written by the Apostle Paul to different, different churches. And today's passage for our study and our lesson today is taken from the book of 2 Corinthians in the New Testament, 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verses 2 to 4, right? So this is the second letter that Paul wrote to the church in Corinth, right? So to read or to have a look and see what this Bible passage says, let's go back in time a bit. Grace and peace to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of compassion and the God of all comfort, who comforts us in all our troubles so that we can comfort those in any trouble with the comfort we ourselves receive from God. So did you all just see Paul writing the first few uh, verses to 
his letter written to the Corinthians, right? His second letter written to the Corinthians. And we see how Paul is writing, you know, all Paul's letters start with a greeting of uh, greeting the people who he's writing the letter to. How are you all? I hope you are good. I am praying for you. You know, all his letters start like this way in a very happy, cheerful way, right? Any of you, if someone calls you, you would like them to ask how are you doing i hope you are well i hope you are keeping in good health right even if we get a letter we would uh, like to see it addressed to us like that or even when we write a letter or a card to someone i hope you are well i hope you are doing good uh, i heard this and this about you right when you're writing the letter or card to someone so we see paul also greets the people before he gets down to the more important things that he wants to discuss he always greets them well, right? And he says that, you know, like God comforts us and God is there for us, let us also be those who are able to comfort and encourage others around us, right? So these are very important words. In a day and age where sometimes with all this busyness, right, we sometimes forget about the people who are closest to us, right? We might be living in the same house, but with our parents going to work sometimes early in the morning and we rushing off to school, right? We might not even have a proper conversation with each other sometimes in the morning, right? And then when we come home, it might be just us as children at home. Our parents might be at work or it might be just one of our parents at home with us or an elder or a, or a guardian, right? And we might be too busy with our schoolwork and they might be busy with their housework and so on and so forth. So sometimes this connection or being in contact is sometimes lost, right? So let's make it a point to be more connected with each other. Let's share our meals together. You know, when it's meal time, sit together and talk and discuss how was your day. And it also affects us who have friends and relations who live far from us, who are not very close to us in uh, proximity, right? They might live maybe in a few towns away, maybe some other distant area in our own country like the north or the east or the south or the west, right? Wherever we may be from or even abroad. So just writing a letter or dropping a SMS or a WhatsApp, like Andy said, now we have such developed technology that it is easy to keep in connection with the others, in connectivity, in touch with them. But sometimes we might get too busy that we might forget to do this, right? What about our friends in our schools and our Sunday schools, right? Writing a small birthday card when somebody uh, we know celebrates their birthday or a get well soon card. You know, if somebody in Sunday school, like one of our friends or even our teacher is not well, you know, we can write them a card and send it to them, right? So it's important to have this connection with us because God also likes to see us uh, maintain and keep building new relationships as well, but also taking care of the relationships and the connections that we have now, right? So let Auntie tell you a few examples from Auntie's life, right? When Auntie was much, much younger, Auntie's grandmother knew that uh, auntie liked receiving letters because it was very exciting for me because I was quite small and only the big people in the house used to get letters, right? So my grandmother used to uh, write a small note and maybe find some newspaper articles that I might be interested in and pictures and she used to put it in an envelope and she used to post it for me and she might sometimes tell me, you know, don't forget to check the post this week, you might be getting a letter in the post and I was always very excited and when the letter came, you know, my mother always came and said, ah, you have a letter uh, and gave me the letter and I was the one who was opening the letter so it was a very exciting thing, right? So even in our lives, we can do this to uh, bring joy to someone else's life. Like even one of our friends, right? You can even go and drop the letter off at their house. You don't have to post it or pass it to a parent and tell them to pass it along to your friend, right? Or a brother or a sister, a cousin who is living far away, right? Or if they are not feeling well, you can drop them a lovely note encouraging them and saying that you're praying for them, right? And auntie remembers when there was no smartphones and none of us as children had phones of our own. It was only the landline and auntie's friends sometimes called and asked my parents if we can talk to each other. And then we used to talk about all the things that happened to us during the holidays, right? And when we were coming back to school and what happened uh, during 
the holidays if it was one of our birthdays right so it was always exciting when you know the phone rings and then my mother says esther there's a call for you so i get excited and i'm wondering who which one of my friends is calling to uh talk to me right and it was a very exciting time at that time and as a sunday school teacher also and he remembers that whenever there was children who didn't come to sunday school maybe one or two sundays in a row we used to write them a card and uh, asked uh them saying that we hope they were good and they were well and we that we are waiting for them to come back to sunday school and sometimes auntie also made calls and spoke to my children you know uh during the holidays especially asking about their holidays and that we will be very excited to have them back again in sunday school once the term began so keeping in touch and staying connected is very important for all of us because as humans we were created to have relationships and to stay in contact i'm pretty sure during covid we learned a very important lesson we couldn't see our friends even if it was our neighbors we were not allowed to go and talk to them from uh, close by right we couldn't reach it our relations who live far away they have us curfews they have a boundaries we couldn't cross only thank god for this uh, smartphones that some of us were able to speak to our relations and see them right face to face it took months and maybe sometimes a year or so till we actually had a human connection and met someone face to face and had a conversation right in times like this god reminds us how important it is to be con- in contact with each other to have that human connection so let us not forget and always remember to keep in touch because we always like when someone is concerned about us or calls us and ask how are you i didn't see you today in school or i didn't see you in sunday school or if you get a uh, christmas card from a friend you didn't hear from a long time or a birthday card in your school right all your friends have got together and made a card so like it makes you happy when you receive something like this let us also make others happy by passing small notes of encouragement right and small uh, words of uh, encouragement to each other in our classrooms in our sunday schools uh, even in our homes you know amma i hope you had a good day today tata all the best at work today you know simple small things do bring a smile to our faces right keeping this in mind let's have a look at our craft activity today which will help you with this small task of keeping in contact as today's lesson was about learning to keep in touch and how important it is to keep in touch with those we love and he has some colored a4 sheets here and we are going to be writing notes to everybody we love or we care for or someone we thought of during this lesson that we can send a note to so with the colored a4 and the felt pens that i had and make these quick notes for different occasions right all of you can do this doesn't take a long time for it right so if your friend has an exam you can write them a quick note pass it to them during the interval or when you come to school or put it in a book that they might see and it will say all the best you know you can say hi whoever your friend is wishing you the best for your exam you can do it encouraging words for your friend for the exam or if your friend is not feeling good uh, while she was in school or if you live close by you can drop it in their post box or give it to your, their mother pass it on to them saying dear whoever your friend's name is i've been praying for you see you at school soon right or you can just drop a note saying hi i really like the drawing you drew at art class today another encouraging word or thank you thank you for sharing your food with me it was yummy thank your mom too maybe a friend of yours who brings extra food to share with the rest of the class you can just appreciate them with a note like that Oh I am sorry. I'm sorry I forgot to call you on the weekend. Do you want to go on a picnic on Saturday? Right? So in this way you can learn to keep in touch, stay connected and keep your friendships and your relationships something that is very close to you and something that you care about and show everybody you care about how much you love them with a note, with a phone call or even dropping by to visit them. I hope you enjoyed that really cute and creative uh, handwork and now let's head in and have a look at our chorus for today
little light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine every day, every day, every day in every way. I'm gonna let my little light shine. This little light of mine. up and bring our Sunday school lesson this Sunday to a close. Let us uh, spend some time in prayer. Let us pray. Dear Lord Jesus, we thank you for this beautiful Sunday. Dear Lord Jesus, we thank you for all our friends and family around us and in our lives. We thank you for the connections and the relationships we have with each other. Help us to treasure these relationships and help us to know that it is important for us to encourage each other and to keep in touch and to always stay connected, uh, talking to one another, one another and being there for each other in times of need and in times of happiness. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you for the lesson that we learned today. Help us always to remember that Maintaining our relationship and building new friendships is something that you like to see us do. Jesus, I now pray for my family and everybody I love and my dear country. 
I place all this in your mighty hands and I pray all this in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. So Tilani sees you next Sunday with another interesting Bible story and Sunday school lesson. Please be obedient to your parents and your guardians. And remember that Jesus loves each and every one of you very, very much. Take care. God bless. And I will see you next Sunday. Bye.